Hey guys, I to be Jude here. I uh, wanted to talk to you about infantry heroes. Um, I'm trying to get each of the groupings into some smaller videos, make it easier for you to hear um, about a specific type that you're interested in. Uh, my best one that I have is Richard, uh, one of my legendaries. Uh, there's a couple legendaries. Alexander is obviously a big one as well. Um, these guys are really, really good. Um, at uh, defense, or Richard's really good at defense and garrisoning, um, holding up your buildings, holding up the temple, whatever it might be that you're trying to work. Um, if you're willing to uh, sit there, take longer, or, or the thermo events, um, that's another big one where you might see um, defense or garrisoning uh, being a big deal. Um, obviously, they have different skills. Uh, best way to do these is to level them all the way up to five for each skill set because you can switch where the which skill is going to be those level fives as needed um the the way i did this i kind of rushed it uh, right before an event uh, where barbarians were attacking my city so i did a five three 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 uh versus going five five two i believe is what that would be five, yeah five 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 two so um choose how you want to do that but um here's based on your hero level you'll get different bonuses uh so with richard infantry defense and with alexander infantry attack um so both of them are useful uh, for different ways in how you level them up also tech speed uh, based on the skill slots as you're leveling those up to level five each uh whatever the that adds into all the way up to 20. If you have all four at level five, um, it's going to give you a bonus on the side for uh, what you're what you're able to do with those. This one, I, let's see, is five, three, three, three. So nine plus five is 14. Uh, so I need a couple more to jump up to that 16% training speed for this guy. Um, I do see Alexander out there on the map a lot. It is always best to uh, pair up if you have an in infantry civilization pair up with a leadership guy uh, along with your um, infantry guy uh, that is the best way to get some points even though he's a defensive guy uh, Hannibal is an offensive guy he's really good at those normal attacking people uh, and he's giving bonuses to every type of troop uh, so leadership is a big one to have in there with you uh, there are a couple leadership guys, Frederick being the other, so you'd be able to do two sets of troops once you're further in the game and have leveled these guys up, and they're helpful for you based on uh, you know the available troop size uh, makes a difference on who's the uh, primary hero versus the secondary hero. Um, when it comes to leveling them up, you need XP. Uh, these XP books, they can they can run away uh, for, from you. Uh, it's two million. 194,000 points in order to get uh, Richard to level 57. Well, that's not all coming from the level one books. And I believe my level seven books, uh, that's only going to give me 250,000 points. So <clears throat> uh, there's going to be other ways to get those books or level up these heroes. And the best way to go about that is going to be down here at the secondary gate. <clears throat> this is one of the few places you can get some books, resources, and some speed ups. Another place is going to be the VIP store. Depending on what you've invested into the game, you'll unlock different levels. Um, when it's not unlocked, it's going to tell you how long it's going to take you to get to that spot. So if there's something you want to make a goal of, which for me was getting to these uh, gold proofs, these legendary proofs uh, that only cost food. Um, so it's 2 million food to buy five proofs and I do that weekly. Um, and then you can, you know, spend gold on other things. Here's some, uh, purple, those Epic proofs you can spend, uh, some money on as well. So different things you can do there. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously we came here to look at XP books. So XP books does cost gold, but you can pick up a whole bunch of those, um, as well. Another place you can go is going to be in the campaign. Um, in the campaign at different levels, uh, we've got to go to one that's not complete. Um, you'll see, hey, look, 45, 1K. So that's 45,000 uh, XP right there just for, the, just for defeating for the first time. 
So even if you can't uh, beat it all three stars, can't can't do the mission uh, 100%, if you can get that first star, that first reward is a big bonus. Also, every fifth mission, so 8, 5, 8, 10, and here at 8, 15, you can get uh, badges for Joan of Arc. Um, Joan of Arc, this is the fastest way to get those badges for her uh, because she can't utilize the badges that are uh, not given to a specific hero uh, that can be shared to others. I'll show you that here in a minute. The other thing is um, always go back to your previous um, missions, your previous maps. If you haven't 100% f completed it, uh, go work on it because once you get to that 45 um, stars, you can unlock a lot of good material. So uh, and same with that 30 and at 15, there's a lot of good stuff to be had here stuff to work on uh, the last place I'm going to show you is going to be in the Alliance shop um, this place is going to allow you to uh, purchase whatever is available miscellaneous right now um, but you can see XP books here sometimes there's the badges and some chess um, you can refresh this up to six times a day the first time is free the next one's 100 and then it goes up 200 300 400 500 so uh, six attempts a day your point uh, how many points you have is going to be listed up in the upper right hand side and always check <clears throat> your your bag uh, because a lot of times they're not going to open all of those points that you might have um, so you can just uh, knock those uh, put those out there uh, so that uh, those points are added to your total value uh, that's everything I had on infantry heroes, how to upgrade them. Um, there is actually a couple more things I want to show you. Um, here on the map, you can hit barbarians. It's possible loot, so it's not guaranteed, but you could get some books there. Uh, the forts, the same way. Um, you'll see possible loot, uh, some XP books here at this level 8 barbarian. Um, and then two other places are going to be at the shrines. There's shrine guardians that you can attack daily. Um, at the at each shrine they reset twice a day once at the beginning of reset and one at halfway through the day um, Attack those with your team. I have another video out on how to do XP runs feel free to watch that and then events that occur for the Stonehenge uh, When these when these happen, it's one hour and at the beginning There's a whole bunch of guardians that appear tons of XP come out of those guys way more than anything else um, and they're super easy to beat uh, work with your team, do some XP runs there as well. Uh, that's it on the infantry heroes. Thanks for watching.